is the M and B Clemens, and we're here for discussion topic today. We have four questions that we're gonna talk about. Make sure you guys are subscribing, commenting, and sharing these videos. And if you have anything you want to come in on the discussion with, go ahead and say something. Uh, bring it down at the comment below and let us know um, how y'all feeling about the topic. Maybe you want to ask us a question as well. Um, so let me get into the four questions. Number one will be why couples won't commit. Mm -hmm. Number two is why marriage is hard. Number three is what makes people get married. And number four is um, why is it so hard communicating? Yeah, why? So we're going to go ahead and get these topics on the way. All right, let's go. You want to answer the first one? All right. Why, people won't, why couples won't commit? Commitment is hard in terms of like if you go, on no, a guy's per perspective what makes you think you as a guy why you wouldn't commit to the couple? all right so let's talk about marriage so if you say like your wife um your wife should provide for you and you want something from your wife she doesn't give it to you then you're gonna look elsewhere so whatever your wife doesn't do you're gonna look for it elsewhere that's why a guy doesn't commit because a guy wants a quick fix what okay, is? like, are you meaning sex? Yep. Like, what? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. And, so um, that's why they it, won't commit. It, yeah. So a guy, it's like sex, it's um, it's food, and then it's work. If you don't get that, we out. Are if you gonna you see? Don't get that from yep, women. Yep, from your wife. Yep. So what that's about the man simple. providing it so that you can cook it? We we have to. We okay. have to. We can. We okay. have to. But that's the main objective. That's it. Okay. Um, so the guy provides the guy, um, has, you know, has to figure out how to make the money and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, but if the wife is like, Hey, I don't want to, I don't want to cook. I don't want to provide the sex and mm -hmm. we're going elsewhere. Okay. So let's go on to number two. Uh, oh, wait, 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 we're we not done. You, you got to talk on that. What do you think? Um, uh, well, I just feel like, um, you know, in experience when you say certain things and, Guys will listen to what you're saying, but yep, go ahead. They will listen to what you're saying, but they take it in and they just string you along, and say okay, 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 and just never commit. Sometimes that just happens, and so that's how they don't commit. You'll just be in the relationship thinking, oh, he's gonna marry me, oh, he's gonna have kids with me, and in their brain, they never had intentions to do that. They'll just hold on to you because sometimes you're a good woman to them. And so they are doing things elsewhere. And um, once you find that out, you know, to head on out. But until then, they will string you along as long as they can, if, especially if they think you're a good woman. Um, because that's one of the things that guys do. They find good things in all women. And so then they have all of these different good women with all these good aspects of them. And so they just take bits and pieces of all of it. And so what you thought that you were going to get, you don't because they don't commit. Okay. That was my answer. So let's go on to why is marriage hard? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Why, why? I think marriage can be hard because getting into marriage sometimes, even, I, I mean, you sometimes you talk about these things because people say, oh, you got to ask all the questions. Got to ask all the questions. You can ask all the questions you want. Sometimes people are not honest. And so I don't care how many questions you ask at the moment of what they're saying, if they're not honest and then you get into the marriage, then you are like, oops, okay, we said this, we agreed to this, and then they say something else. So it can be hard that way when it comes to, you know, something being one way and then they're saying something else. All right. So, so like, what do here, you here's my take. Yeah. All right. When you're dating... It's a beautiful situation because, like, you know, the woman's trying to capture you and all that, and the guy's trying to capture the woman. But then when you get married, complacent. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. You th like, feel like, like that's why it's hard? Uh, yes, because it's like, it's not like, um, like when you date, mm -hmm. it's super exciting. Like, you do, like, the most fun okay. stuff. You know what I mean? Okay. But then we get married, it's like, all right, I know I, I know I got this guy. Like, I know I got this woman. So, I mean, that's that, a good answer. You know what I'm saying? I, but I, I mean, that's another thing, you know, um, 
people forget that when you're dating, you only see each other maybe once or twice out of the week. And so what they thought that you were or that you could be every day of the week, you're not until you finally are in the same home. <laughs> right? Well, 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 well yeah, <laughs> but, but, but here's my thing. Here's my thing. Okay. When you when you find that that right woman, like the reason I married you mm -hmm. was because I knew, like, I'm like, okay, you, you have to study... Um, you have to study and, and it's like, stop it, stop <laughs> it. You have to study and, 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 and uh, individual. So like, like she's good with children. She, her cooking is bombest. Mm. I'm not gonna say that. Mm, mm. Um, but she's a great woman. So that's why. Thanks, honey. That's why I did what I did. That's why I married her. Um, okay. You have to know, like, you can you can go out and see a bunch of pretty women mm -hmm. but they're trash at the oh. end of the day like you you know you, like you really have see, to see like it. this is what i'm talking about when we can be long-winded next question that's really good husband that's wait really good, I, I, that is really good that's really <laughs> okay what makes people what makes people get married babe i'm talking about that right now oh so i guess we don't just spill into the next yeah question. i just spilled okay in. so that's one of the reasons why yeah one of the great aspects of a so, person yeah, so okay. when, you, when, when you look at a woman, mm -hmm. how she dresses, mm -hmm. you go on Instagram, are you going to do the traditional turn the back oh. and show the... Oh, she doesn't do that, right? Fashion, fashionista, right? But at the end of the day, she's respectable. She knows how to take care of kids. She's very family-oriented. Mm -hmm. She's very respectable. She doesn't cuss. She goes to church, mm -hmm. and God is in her life. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Amen, who, who, wait, Amen. So who are you dealing with? Amen. Yeah, amen. <laughs> yeah, that part. Go ahead, babe. So for me, um, what makes a person get married is, um, you know, knowing that there's a provider, um, knowing that you're loved, knowing that the love you give, they can give back, knowing that you guys are um, in the same faith, that you guys both believe in God, both whatever it is that you guys believe in, but that you guys both agree at, at the same thing. Um, communication, all these things come um, together as one. So I, that's one of the things that I, um, you know, say. But number four is why is it so hard to communicate? You going first? I'm, I'm going, going first. first. <laughs> I go after you. I'm going first. One of the things that I think, okay, we only got a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, we got to hear you. Yeah. Two minutes. Two all minutes, right, you guys will right, be right. out. Um, one of the things is um, what I feel like um, makes communication so hard is when you want your spouse to be honest. So the honesty, you got to be honest. Um, and then, you know, the providing and working as a team. If you don't do those things, communication can be very hard. And it always goes back to um, how you're raised that, um, you know, creeps up after, you know, you've been um, linked and married that, um, you know, certain things come out and then, um, you know, it makes communication hard. Because, you know, certain things that you didn't know that, you know, might have happened when, you know, being raised or yeah. however. And um, so it starts to make things hard. So you, when it's like that, you got to always talk, always talk it out and speak. Don't hold it in. If you hold it in, it makes it worse. And then it makes everything so uncomfortable in your environment. Yeah, I take, I take walks. Um, I have to work on my, uh, my communication. Mm -hmm. But when I walk, I think mm -hmm. because I don't want to communicate in a different situation to where it's going to hurt her or whatever you know mm -hmm. what i mean so um that's we're why working on it yeah i'm, I'm <laughs> i don't know i'm working on it and she did my hair by the way <laughs> but uh yeah um hey at the end of the day yeah communication is everything yes. and, and uh you have to figure out how you guys uh reciprocate with with each other mm -hmm. um and that's all yeah. i gotta say she pretty much said it okay guys Yay! you guys want to hear more topics on this or discussion period um go ahead and Comment below on what topics or anything that you guys want us to talk about, and we will talk about it. Deuces. We will see you guys later because it's the MND. Clemens. Ding.